Hi, I want to go over this section eight of your test. So a lot of you had a real hard time with it. So let's start with the time words. We have lately. The first time word is lately, and lately is present perfect. Lately means in the past few weeks, in the past few months, in the past few days. I've been tired lately, we've been walking every morning lately, means in the past few days, in the past few weeks. So that's going to be present perfect. The verb is eat, now that's an action verb, so we can do progressive or we can do just present perfect. We have eaten or we have been eating. So that's going to be present perfect. We have eaten or we have been eating. Either one, it's still present perfect. You can't say lately we ate. Now you can possibly say lately we eat, meaning that's a fact, a current fact, but lately does have from the past up to now, so that really should be present perfect. You could use simple present. You could. Um, last night. The time for last night is simple past. So last night we ate. Last night we ate fish and rice and a big salad for dinner. Last night is simple past. For over a month, for over a month. Now, when is that for over a month? So the for over a month could be up until last night, although we didn't eat meat for dinner last night. But if the for over a month was up until last night, then it would be past perfect. I hadn't eaten. But if that for over a month is up to now, since we still didn't eat meat last night, we ate fish, so if the for over a month is up to now, I haven't eaten. I didn't eat meat for over a month would mean past, finished. You could do that, but that would mean that, again, we had meat last night and that is done past. The not eating meat is done and past. So that is possible, but the present perfect is the best. Let me highlight which one is the best. We have been eating is the best because that's continually for a period of time up to now. And haven't eaten is up to now, we don't know for how long. Come on, highlight that. There we go, got the highlight. All right, so it feel. Now, what's the time on this feel? I haven't eaten. It really depends on the time that you chose for the haven't eaten meat, because if the haven't eaten meat is up to now, I still haven't eaten meat for over a month, then that would be it feels good because that's now it feels good. It feels good now because I haven't eaten meat for over a month so that I feel healthier now. So it feels present. If you had simple past or past perfect on I hadn't eaten meat up until last night, or I didn't eat meat prior to last night, you could have simple past there. It felt good. But that would mean that it's finished. And I, it's not finished, right? It feels good. I haven't eaten up to now. It feels good now, present. So that, that's your best choice. I think my husband lose weight. Now, lose weight 
You can say simple past, that is possible. You can say he lost weight, passed, finished, but I really hope it's not finished because there is more to lose. So um, it not it's not finished. It's up to now and not finished has lost. Up to now and not finished, he's still losing. So if lost, if it's already finished, then you can talk in the past, but lately is what we start with, which is present perfect, which is up to now. So it should be present perfect, has lost, up to now. We're still working on it. It's not done, it's not finished. Now, before we started paying attention, before we started paying attention, I'm getting my colors mixed up here. Yeah, so the right answers, the best answers are in blue. The time words are in yellow. The best answers are in blue. The time words are in yellow. Fix that. There we go. Okay. So we before we started paying attention, that's a hard one. That is, It's harder than I thought it was going to be. But the verb is eat before we started paying attention. So started is past, and before we started, that would be past perfect. So that, that could be past perfect. We had eaten, or because it is a continual thing, had been eating or it could just be past, just a past fact. Before we started paying attention, past fact. But the best answer of those is had been eating because it's past, prior to past, started is past, before we started is prior to past, past of past, and it's something that's ongoing. So it would be past progressive, past continuous, had been eating pretty poorly. Now, the bad habit. The bad habit could be simple past, fact, that was a bad habit, or that is a bad habit because it may happen again and it's that's still a fact that that still is a bad habit either one of those is fine I'm going to say that was is the best choice messing up my colors again blue is for the good choices yellow for the time words now when me as a child. Me as a child is definitely past, right? I am definitely not a child now, so me as a child is past. So when I was. When I was a child. Me as a child is past, so it has to be past there. When I was a child. Now, at that time, when I was a child, at that same time, my mother cooked meat and potatoes. That was her habit when I was a child. You can't really do past perfect there because past perfect would be in progress only at that time. And it... How do I explain that? When I was a child, she cooked. Those are both true at that time. It's not that she was in the process of doing it at any particular moment. It's for all of that time. The past progressive is for at a particular time something was happening. But this isn't a particular time. I was a child for many, many years, right? So there's no, there's, there's not a progressive there. It's just a fact. Since then, now, since means up to now, since then. Since means from a past point up to now. 
So learn would be I have learned, present perfect, since then. Now, if the learning has stopped, if I'm done learning, I learned, I can now make different things, the learning is over, I'm practicing lots, but I don't need to learn anything more. You could say the learning is past. But if the learning is not past, if the learning continues, I'm still trying new things all the time. I want to learn how to make pupusas and lots of things. So the learning's not past, it's present perfect. Up to now, not finished. If the learning is past, you can learn past. But since then, from the past, up to now. Next time word, sometimes. Now this was a little confusing because the sometimes can be when I was a child. You can say when I was a child, I sometimes refused to eat what my mother gave me. You could say sometimes and when I was a child. I was thinking in terms of simple present, current fact. Sometimes I make simple present, I make now, sometimes. Um, but you can say sometimes I have made from the past up to now and not finished. And you can say sometimes I made if you're only talking about the past cooking and not the current cooking. That is possible. The best choice is just simple present. Sometimes I make. Sometimes I make simple food, but sometimes, now the second one has to be the same time as the first one, right? We have sometimes, but sometimes. So some two sometimeses really shouldn't be different times. So you should make those match. I would say sometimes I like to make or sometimes I, I have liked, it doesn't really work, have enjoyed making, but that's not the verb I told you to make, to use. Or sometimes, again, I liked, yeah, not liked. Because it's not, the like is not past. The make can be past, but the like really can't be past. I still like it. So, I mean, although you don't know me that well, but having the like be past doesn't make as much sense. So we, we just have to go simple present there, in which case we pretty much have to go simple present on the first one. Luckily, my husband usually, now usually is again simple present, right? Usually. You could do past if it's past, but you know that I'm still married, right? So it's not past, unless I say this is no longer true, that usually is just usually, and usually is simple present. So he usually cleans. I didn't mark it wrong if you said clean duh, because some of them, some of you kept all of this in the past. And I didn't mark that as wrong, but simple present is definitely better in this choice, in this case. So he cleans up after me and the second one has to be the same time. You can't have a different time with the cleans up after me and does the dishes. Those need to be the same time because there's no indication of any change there. So we're just going to keep those same times and he cleans up after me and he does the dishes or he cleaned up after me and he did the dishes but simple present is definitely better and so my next task is put the food away and most of you got that one in present sometimes you got the other one in past and this one in present there's no indication of a time change here 
So you just need to keep the same time. It may be also, though, that some of you did get it wrong and I couldn't tell because the past of put is put. So if you put the past of put, it would look the same as the present of put, and so it works, and I assumed it was simple present, which is what it should be. Last night at 7.30, now I'm changing time, right? So I had that usually, sometimes, simple present all the time, and then I have a new time word here, last night at 7.30. Now that's past, right? But it's a particular time in the past so you can use simple past. You could say simple past. At that point, point I started my schoolwork. Or at that exact moment, I was in process. I was starting my schoolwork while my husband, and again, you have both of those choices my husband did or was doing. You can say those are just two past things, happened last night, now finished, or you can say that one was in progress when the other one happened. So I would say I the best choice would be I started, because start is a kind of one-time action, and doing the dishes is a longer time action. So the best choice would be I started while he was doing. He was in the middle of doing and I started. Now on the next one, I hope that is in simple present, but it has the meaning of future. I hope means we haven't done that yet. So you have two choices for form here. In either case, it's future. But I hope we keep, or I hope we will keep. Both are fine. You, I hope we keep getting healthier. It's future, simple future. But you can take that step back in that clause. I hope we will keep getting healthier is simple future. And you have the will. So you have a choice in this clause of to have the will or not. And I really don't have any opinion about that at all. I think if it was me, I would probably do the base form. Um, but either one of those choices is fine. Okay? Um, I hope you do better on the next one. Thank you.